visuals. Let's uh, let's get fucking. Let's can I, can get I, physical. Physical. Wanna get this is a bit too sing along for you, Chris. <laughs> this is far too much sing along for you, sir. How are you? I'm tired. Tired. Well, we're about to get nice and relaxed. To be fair, I think by the looks of that, it's about to start swashing it down as well. Oh, I don't say that. Oh, I've got a jacket in the car. It it looks like fuck that, mate. Shorts and t-shirt for me. I spent all day fucking hit sweat. Oh, yeah, I need mud guards on the bike because. Smashing down the hills and it's you know the yeah oh it's lovely and fucking wet boxing every time I sat doing it's like and most of the day when you quench your tails back and your toes just bring out water and shit yeah I got wet walking to my wagon oh long was it a long walk no from my car to the house oh. <laughs> You're one of them. I was. Oh, you're not one of them, are you? You're not one of them. Are you? You, you fucking you see people like, oh, God, they're quick. Like, like, you're like, you're going to get wet regardless. Just crack on. I don't like getting wet. Uh, fun question for you, Chris. Oh, no. Uh, no, it's not, it's not it's crazy or whatever. Halloween is on the, is on the horizon. Which, yeah. Oh, fucking hell. Um, there was somebody bringing it's up... I've got quite a while to go, like. <laughs> the, uh, oh, yeah, it's obviously... Well, look, October. We're halfway through August now. Just get through September. And then, for me, all of October is Halloween. Because I even get the little uh, Halloween countdown boxes and shit like that. I fucking love it, mate. Um, no, I've got the uh, the ghost face Funko Pop. Okay. Beautiful, lovely. But um, on the lid, you, you pull it up and there's a bit of writing that said the icon of Halloween. And I was like, oh, that's amazing. You might be my favourite and whatnot. But I would disagree. I don't, I don't think he's the face of Halloween, to be no. fair, for me. Obviously, there's a few candidates. You could say Jason, so we could say Freddy. Somebody could say Ghostface, but for me, even though he's not my favourite, I'd, I'd always say Michael Myers is the face of Halloween. Oh. It might be because the films he's in are called Halloween. Probably. <laughs> um, but yeah, I just thought, hmm, I'll bring it up with Chris, see what he thinks. Well, like I say, there's, there's a variety, like you said. There's, there's a few. Yeah. There's even... Um... Leatherface, um, well, Leatherface, yeah. But I'm thinking, um, um, you can't say his name three times. Beetlejuice. No, the other one. Candyman. No. Candyman. Yeah, Candyman. There's a, there's a, there's a, there's a huge. Because I, I personally, I would say Freddy Krueger is the biggest horror icon for me. I just think when it comes to Halloween, I think of Halloween. I see. I would say that Jason and Freddy would probably be equal. Jason's definitely up there, 110 million percent. I completely forgot that when they did the Freddy vs. Jason fight, they, <laughs> the film, they had like a press conference where it was a boxing fight. You know, with, you know the same boxer, that famous boxer, whatever his name is, he'll, no, whatever his name is, and he's like, oh, right, weighing in it. And they actually had that in Jason. But I completely forgot. I was like, oh my God, we lived in this time. <laughs> what the fuck is going on? Um, but no, yeah, if you were to say Jason, I wouldn't disagree. I just, I think for, for me, because Freddy was probably one of my after ghost face uh, my next biggest sort of I, say, I, I don't I don't mind ghost face and I don't mind leather face but I think Jason's mine uh, yeah Jason's is I, I I always go to ghost face as my personal favorite just because of the screen films and shit like that and whatnot but there would be there, I'm not gonna be like oh, Jason I'm fucking completely Jason is amazing he's amazing Jason that's is why I'm not bored of Crystal Lake coming now Crystal fucking Lake uh, but yeah, but when it comes to just Halloween itself, for me, the icon of that time period is, is Michael Myers. Most of his shit happens always on Halloween night. True. Whereas like, Ghostface is sort of whenever. Whenever. But so when I over the phone call, it said the icon of Halloween. I was like, is it, he's a icon, but I wouldn't say he's... He's, he's... he's in the icon section, but I'd say he's lower down compared to the most of them. Yeah, I would 100, 110% agree, which is weird because I can say like, that's my... That's my horror. It's 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 definitely because I'm going to do a top ten film list for Superhero Wednesday at some point, and I'm putting Scream on that list without a shadow of a doubt. Scream, hundred percent. But yeah, I'm I'm glad you kind of agreed anyway. Mm-hmm. It's uh, I learned some more. I learned a very <laughs> I learned a very depressing fact that I told Laura the other day, uh, which is well, it's our anniversary of the weekend. We spoke about this, didn't we? How I bought the best gift ever, though. Oh, oh my no. god! Oh, it's, it's amazing. Bad. I can say it now because. When the time this goes up, she'll hear it. It's fine. I bought a collection of these books, um, and it's the world of Tolkien. Tolkien, Tolkien, uh, and each one's like so. It's like the the elves of Tolkien and uh, the magic powers and the. Ri- oh my god! I'm so, I'm dying to just go upstairs and crack these books. What's Tolkien? Have a guess. A unicorn. No. A 
fairy. A famous author? Oh, good. <laughs> <laughs> no. Who made? I don't know. Harry Potter. That's J.K. <laughs> Rowling. The Lord of the Rings. Yeah! And it's just these bunch of books that break down different aspects of the world. I and don't know book people. It's uh, If it's an apocalypse, I'll read it. This apocalyptic <laughs> shit in Lord of the Rings. I guess there was a moment where Aragorn made sure he cleansed the world of orcs after he became king and shit like that. And it was quite gruesome. Dad, he just crack it open and read it anyway and whatnot. Uh, but no, I thought of this proper fact that it proper broke her heart. And you could see her die inside a little bit. Because I was like, think about this right. A successful marriage and relationship is seeing the other person die. She was like, oh. Because <laughs> obviously, if you think if you get to the end, of, you, know, you spent forty years married, you're going to see one of the other people die. Yeah, <laughs> and that means well, one success you got through marriage. <laughs> you got through marriage because of her face was like mm, that's sad, and then she brought it back up again. But it was like, well, it means you've won. You've got to the end of it without like being in your fifties or your sixties and splitting up, and then <laughs> I just love sprinkling some depressing shit on her life. Fair it's funny. I also saw this cool thing. This this American girl kicking off. She no sorry. She wasn't kicking off. She was like, uh, "Hey, British guys, why is it when you uh, see each other, you're not like this, but a normal, typical? Don't worry, you're definitely not like this. Um, but I definitely do it at work. Well, why is it when you guys see each other and stuff, you, like you meet in a pub and you see your mate, you be like, hi, hi, hey, all right. And then uh, there, there was British girls in the comments being like. Um, Hi, this is a British girl speaking here. Even we don't understand why they do that. Because that's exactly that. Like if I go to one of the, the boys at work or whatever, uh, and you see, oh, hey, 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 like that, or you're at the game and somebody does something pure shit, like in the footy match, somebody misses a pass or whatever, and you go, hey, we just make it. <laughs> and I've never ever noticed it because it's something I've always done. And I bring it up at work, and they're all like, yeah, we will do that. I just thought that was just. <laughs> We just say noise, but obviously you're not a lady lad. Neither am I, to be fair. Just when I get in that sort of environment of... Whoa. What am I, then? Well, you're not a laddie lad, are you? You're not walking around going, hey, footman, lad, 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 get the points down here, come on, lads, lads, lads. No. You're just, uh, you're just a lovely chi- ch- child. You're a lovely child. <laughs> you're a lovely child. Um, you're a, um, just a chilled old man. So they old. You just need a, one of them little hats and a walking sticky. You sit there and just twine at people having fun. Like, hey, so I'm having fun around here. You're like, yeah, so I'm having fun. And see somebody with my head on the outside. The last time someone smiled around here was 1947. We fucking took a shot out of his face. He's like, that's a... Thanks. Mint. Uh, did you listen to Russell Crowe on uh, Joe Rogan? No. Nah. He's very... Uh, I don't know, he was saying a lot of stuff and he was very calm and relaxed and he was smoking a hell of a lot and I was like, oh my god, stop smoking the fuck because I have one. Um, but he's a strange bug to listen to, not in terms of bad. Because when you think of Russell Crowe, you just think a bit, like, built up and angry. No. But he's not. He's very nice and relaxed and calm and shit like that. But then it broke my heart because he's got, like, loads of acres of land and he's got all these... Uh, has it, hasn't he got a kangaroo sanctuary or something like that? I have no idea. He, he never mentioned it if he, if he has got one. But he's got a load of animals. He's like, yeah, yeah, I like to look after the animals and all this kind of shit. And, you know, I'm not like one of these other farming spots that just sort of keep them in houses. She goes, because if you look after them, treat them well, they taste a hell of a lot better. And I was like, oh, that's just... <laughs> what the fuck have you told me that for? Because I was like, oh, great. I Because un- I, I understood that he was farming them well, to eventually kill them. Yeah, free ranged like eggs. Just let them do their thing. They taste nicer than pen. But it's the way he ended it. It's like, yeah, they have a great life. They're amazing. The way that I feed them, and you can tell that they're happy. And organic you eat them cows taste. taste nicer than. It just fucking broke me out, though. I was just like, don't say they had a lovely life just so they tasted better. I'm sure they do. Let's go to Australia. I'm taste his food. Definitely not debating that. It's kind of weird when, because obviously he's from New Zealand, but he's moved to Australia. But I always thought there was somewhat of a rivalry between the two, but evidently not. I don't think. Yeah, I also there was a, there was a great philosopher that's just come on Joe Rogan as well. Talks some amazing shit, and he brought out a fact of which made me even more sad. And I was that close to being like, should I become a fucking vegetarian here? That ninety nine percent of every chicken on this planet is in captivity, and I was thinking, I feel awful here. And it's the same for the pig. The cow was ninety eight percent. It was just making me fuck. I was like, yeah, man, I'm part of this problem. <laughs> Stop making me feel like a piece of shit. The only reason I can get eat away eat burgers and shit is because I'm ignorant to that stuff. No, listen, this guy's like, yeah, ninety nine percent of them in captivity just eat enjoy chicken nuggets. I'm thinking, oh, fuck, I'm gone. They're nice though. They're fucking gorgeous, mate. <laughs> I mean, the next time I dive into a nugget, I'll probably forget. Except Hopefully. I can't really say much because I shoot birds and, and deer and stuff. I could never shoot a deer. I, 
I don't think I could shoot any animal, but deer would be top of my list if I could shoot deer. Not a chance. They're hard to shoot. Well, you're good. Ding, 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 fuck off. Ding, 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 dodging it. Right. See you later, son. But they taste nice. I don't think I could ever eat deer. I just, again, it's the Bambi effect. Mm. You see Bambi, you think that's Pheasant's a Pheasant's nice. Uh, I've, I know people in my old village used to eat pheasant, but I don't think you're... Pheasant's nice. Partridge is nice. And a partridge. Well, let's sing songs about Macrimbo. I can't do that. A partridge is a fucking pear tree. It's like, what's his name on uh, House of Dragon? The You know, the guy that tamed uh, the smaller dragon at Dragonstone. Um, what was his name again? The one that was a little bit cheeky and one not to Rhaenyra. Mm. Um, there was... Is it is it Quail? Is that what it's called? I like that one. Uh, apparently, is it Quail or the little bird? Is that right? Uh, apparently, he actually sat in at 25 of them just chilling in that scene, just waiting for you know to do the next show. He's just at 25, and they were like, Hey, it's fucking 25. I think it was quite what it's called. But Jesus fucking Christ, I wanted to. I can't wait for Damon to see him, bro. Damon's gonna fucking smash his fucking head in. Smash his nut in. Uh, but yeah, so that's that's going as far. I also learned this week, um, there was another guy. This, here's, this one will blow you. I've got two little things. One that I, I personally wholeheartedly I don't believe can be true at all oh, um, but, but I'm not a scientist so I can't debunk anybody and this, there was this book that's saying uh, time itself is a particle I, I, don't, I don't understand how that can time be time itself is a <laughs> particle yeah because there's two functions of time there's our time that we've created as in like oh it's four o'clock better get dinner on or whatever and then there's actual time about how time moves as, as relative, relative time and shit but anyway he said that and it kind of my, my little head went what does that mean? And then I had to carry on. What? It's hard, mate. We're not scientists. We can't sit and debunk or prove. See, in theory, we never live in time. We never live in time? Yes. Because we don't really know, realistically, what time is. We're just going off a digital or analog clock we, no, we that can was work out time. invented because we can get time we get it off how the seasons go around and sunset yeah, and all that shit yeah but to get actual physical spot on time well every clock's a second out isn't it that's what I mean it's just fucked I mean obviously with the earth being 23 hours and 58 minutes or whatever it is it's obviously that's why we get a lunar year in every four years a leap year. Yes. Which is, is that the year that women can marry men? Yes, marry men. yes. The way, yeah, yeah, women can propose to Some men. Some shit like that. Yes. For why it's in a leap year. I don't know. The universe was like, it was a great fissilog... Fissilog... Fiss, what the fuck am I trying to say? Fissilogical. Philosophical. <clears throat> uh, question that they posed about... Um, that could brought up with Joe Rogan about if you look at the universe, because Joe Rogan was, like, you know how I was saying the other day about how I don't believe in God, but I feel like there has to be some sort of creator to everything. And there's an actual uh, word for that, I can't fucking remember it now. And Joe Rogan sort of believes the same thing about how the universe itself is, when I say God, I don't mean, oh, God, but God itself, like it's been coded and writing everything and whatnot. It's just Mother Earth just doing its thing. Well, it's, it's what about it's... the universe? Oh. Yeah, there's, there's an actual word for it. I can't remember what the fuck they called it, but it's a real thing that other people think of. And I'm like, oh my God. I kind of feel like that's the same thing, which is nuts. But and apart, this this guy says it's more realistic to believe in a form of religion than it is thingy. And again, he broke it down. You'll have to listen to it. Because I was like, how can that be more realistic? Because that's believing in make-belief. But the way he spun it down, I was like, oh, it's confusing the fucking life out of me now. I'm only like halfway through it. But it's fucking phenomenal so far. Yeah, I had Sandler on the other day, and that was a pure letdown, not because of Adam Sandler. You know, Joe Rogan took it to weird places, like, you've got Adam Sandler on here, ask him some major shit. But anyway, sorry, tangents. Go on, to, yeah, to the, the time is as a, as, a, as a particle, as it exists. Yeah, I'm going to have to listen to it, because I need, I need a bit more of a... Uh, um, well, that's all a, it is, it's just, definition. obviously, we know what particles are... The sh- you yeah, know, well, the, everything's a yeah. particle. So us as time, we, we can put an actual physical object on time, but this guy seems to, to bring out that time's a particle, and that's what I'm like, a little. But then I also learned as well, which fucking blew my stupid little head, you know, as a particle, mm-hmm. the halfway point from the size of a particle to the earth is a single uh, grain of dust. That's fucking disgusting. When you picture it like that, 
because you're like, oh, it's like a single grain. You, half the time, you can't even see it. Because we know no particles are small anyway in time. Yeah. You can't see it. Everything's, everything's particles. Like, yeah. Everything you see around us is made of particles. But having that as a representation, as in like, okay, so a, one single bit of dust is the middle point. You're like, oh, this is quantum realm shit. <laughs> this is fucking, this is Ant-Man's shit to deal with, not mine. Ah, it is. Like... But that, that's, like I said, when you figure that as a little in your head, now a line. <sighs> But fuck. That's, that's some fun things I learned. There you go. I love learning fun, dumb, fucking stupid shit. It's fucking mint. Like I said, half the shit I don't understand and I'll never be able to fully debate any of it with anybody, but it's no. just fun to put in my head and be like, okay, this this is stuff that's come out of people's mouths and words have happened. Great. Next. Next <laughs> it's fucking nuts. You know, I need a weird thing. Oh, there you go, Chris. It's absolutely smashing it down now, sir. No, oh, bloody hell. Fucking mint, man. It's not. Got to walk in it now. Are you right? Still need some water. A lot can kill you. Uh, yeah, but this ain't gonna kill us. It might do. Yeah, uh, I, I guarantee me you make the cinema just fine. We're more likely to get fucking just jumped on by. I, I might it. slip and break my neck. You need traction. I need more traction. It's like Marshall and Harry. Your mother wants to shag Lily. She keeps the socks on. I was like, I need traction. And then one night he falls out of bed because he have his socks. I was like, I told you, I told you, woman. I need attraction. <laughs> <laughs> Well, this week at work, um, it's been busy. Uh, done a lot of driving, done a lot of deliveries. Uh, there was a fight between two drivers yesterday. Oh, because they were just arguing. And Actually, got to fisty cuffs. Uh, well, one of them did, but he stepped out of the way. But they were just arguing, just over petty little things. One of the ones where you're like. I had quite a funny situation. I can't. I don't think I can legally tell you online. I can tell you on the way down. Uh, but it's funny. <laughs> it's funny as fuck. It's funny as fudge. Um, that's all. That I would just I, work, 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 work. Yeah, basically, just drive and listen to books. It's great. At least you fucking your mind's being plugged out somewhere else anyway. Because when I'm listening to all this bonkers shit, Jesus Christ, the amount of times I nearly smash at the people and stuff. Constantly, because I'm just like, what's that mean? Oh, sorry, love. And then back to it, and then I'm getting like next addictive chimney. I'm taking that corner. And, oh, oh, sorry, mate, sorry. And then back to it. Mm-hmm. People, people are beeping us. So I'm literally just like, my eyes are all at the back of my head, just trying to download this information that my little noggin can't comprehend. Okay, oh, look, anatomy is halfway point of the greater It's just, I don't, except for the past two weeks, we've just been really busy. Been swamped. Yeah. But me thinking that if we took more drivers on, which we have, four, in fact, not five, in fact. Oh, I should have stuck at four, then I could have been like made a shitty joke about like, why is the God of Thunder working for you? Ha <laughs> ha. If we took on. five more drivers on, but yet we seem to be more busy. Th- we do have, we have just recently got a new contract. Mm-hmm. So I don't know if that is anything to do with it. Probably, to be fair, which makes my life a little bit easier. But it makes me a bit more busier. Yeah. And then I get the office on my back because they're like, oh, oh, and it's done today because it's all twining that you like. Not twining, but you're just sort of like, come on, need is done. Because it's obviously a new contract, they wanted to keep them happy, keep them things. It's like nothing can get cancelled, nothing can get bring back. Yeah, they want to show that. Yeah. Want to show that it's getting done, but yet when they send me from one end of the coast to the other end of the coast, you're sitting like, oh, I'm fucking driving him. <laughs> Yeah, they don't realise I am in, in a wagon doing 56 mile an hour. I'm not in a rocket ship. Cunts. Why do you wear a rocket ship? Like, delivery <laughs> to the house. There you go, there's your delivery next one through the building. There's your delivery. Fuck, it's just trashing everywhere it goes. We're like, fucking spaceship. But, but anyway. Yeah, I've been busy. Yeah, it's uh, it's quite refreshing, the, the shifts that I do. I say refreshing, but I hate the idea of coming home from work and being like... I hate that thought. Hmm. That's why I love to just come. And, God, it's so easy to unplug for me because as soon as work's done, it's fucking see you later. That's oh, it. yeah. It's, I was about to say my rear view mirror, but I don't, my rear view mirror is fucking like, <laughs> like that. It's fucking, but yeah, I don't like that. You come in, you fucking get away. Oh, yeah. I, 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 that's what I'm like. I just pack the wagon up and that's me for the night. I know. I'll see you in the morning. I've been 
can I, I don't I don't want to start too many rambles because I can go forever. Uh, we're all right. We've got five or so more minutes. Uh, I've been going into work on my Todd a hell of a lot lately. I didn't think you leave. You're supposed to like super early, and I've been doing a mint job of freaking myself out. I was biking up to work the other day, and uh, like the wind was probably blowing from my headphones. I was like, oh, that's creepy. And I sat and imagined that the uh, Death Angels from the Quiet Place were like on buildings and leaping. And I was like, I started pedaling to fuck, and I got to work. I got the shot down. I'm thinking. Oh, and then I put the kit cut, I walked down, I'm thinking every little noise, I'm thinking, oh, I'm put this off on fucking edgy. It was fucking minga, but at the same time, it was so you much fun. Weird, uh... I love it though. I just fucking, oh, I love it so much. The amount of times you look up and you can see like a storm, because it's been quite a rainy ish week. You see like clouds and that coming over, and they just start imagining like, oh, that cloud's going to go with darkness. Boom, a thunderbolt of some demon's going to come down, we're going to have to fight it with the stackers and shit. And I just start imagining, <laughs> oh, it's fucking. Me. I've been doing something really bad with the stackers lately, though, because obviously you drive a stacker, you need to do that bit for yeah. a turn. I've been trying to drive them like it's Mario Kart, and obviously they don't turn enough, but like we're going, wow, 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 and all this shit. <laughs> and it's you're like, oh shit, then again, oh, it's fucking me, this fog. But yeah, it's very dangaroos. Dangaroos. It's fucking. But it's just getting. I thought, oh mate, I was in my head the other day at work. I was making my own little movie, my little horror film. And I'm like, I had a great shot because you sit in the digger. So you open the shutter door, climb in the digger, you sit and the back's open up, up behind you. And it takes about 30 seconds for it to fully open. No. But I looked in the mirror and as the door's open, I just imagined that somebody was still on the other side of the shutter and I was coming up with more and more of the persons getting revealed. And I was like, oh, so I just started revving the digger engine to scare this imaginary thing that was in my head, <laughs> in my head away. It was fucking mint. Oh, God, I love it. Oh, yeah, I, I don't do that shit. I just love my wagon. Oh, no, I, I don't know what it is. It's like I'm so disconnected from reality and norm- normality. I, I, I hate normal life so much that I just want to imagine shit. Like, the guy coming to the, uh, the other day, he looked at my book, he was like, you got Pokemon tattooed? I was like, yes, because growing up sounds boring as fuck. And he was like, Oh, well, fair enough. <laughs> I don't think he was expecting that answer. Whatever, I expected to be like, that's a bit weird, but whatever. And I was just like, yeah, growing up seems boring as fuck, mate. <laughs> fuck with that. But yeah, it's still play Pokemon Go. Is it still on the go? <laughs> Pokemon Go is, I've, I don't really play much Pokemon Go because it's too far behind. I know it's, it was always going to be, but like new Pokemon are coming out and they're releasing like Gen 5 Pokemon being like, wow, look at these new Pokemon. I'm like, they come out 2010. Like, I've got them all on my Pokemon home. I can't yeah. be excited. When it first came out, it was dead. I was like, yeah, oh, yeah. But the fucking whole nation was on, on fucking It eat. went sick, didn't it? It went absolutely. The, sur- like the, the, the first day it came out with all the servers, went boom. You never expected that many people to fucking download and shit. But hey, up. But yeah, that's been my week, sir. Hopefully, Bill Skarsgård's going to carry on the, the. Even though the crow might be shit, I can't imagine he's going to be shit. No, it's Bill. I mean, feels good. Uh, he, he can only, if he's been given any dialogue that's a bit shit or anything, then it's not really his fault. He can do the best with what he's been given. Uh-huh. But I saw him the other day. No, I saw him. Yeah, I was with Bill Scarborough the other day. Uh, I, I, I was reading the other day. He was saying about this isn't a remake, it's a reimagining, which I don't know if didn't do him any favours because the crow's so beloved by fucking yeah. so many. To say it's a reimagining, I don't know if that's. The right thing to say. Yeah, I don't know if it's a good thing or a bad thing then. Yeah, we'll, see. we'll, we'll have to see anyway. So, what was it, about 40 minutes ish? The film will start. What time is it on? Half past. Well, it's, it starts at 10 past, right. but that's trainers and fucking yeah. bullshit and whatnot. But yeah, anyway, we'll wrap it up. We'll uh, have a wander down, get some milkshakers. Yes. Yes. <laughs> yes. And uh, see what else life brings. Find out if we do die in the rain. And life lemons. Stops. Life brings you lemons. When, when, when life gives you lemons. I learned that the orange oranges never used to be orange. Which is fucked. Because they're orange. And it they're not have... orange because they're orange. They're just called oranges. No, were they, uh, the, 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 the orange. You can get oranges. different colours were around before obviously the word orange existed mm-hmm. which is fuck somebody just obviously looked at that and went we ain't got a colour for that what is it it's an orange should we just call it orange but you can get a white orange you can get blue bananas did not know you can get a white orange you can get blue bananas I've never seen a blue banana I see loads of spiders coming out of blue bananas are more sweet I wouldn't I wouldn't fucking know mm-hmm. Does but you a... don't eat fruit, so you wouldn't know. Yeah, there you go. I'll have a banana milkshake. Uh, I don't like banana milkshakes. Ooh, I, do, I don't mind a bit of banana nah. milkshake. It's weak. I like all the flavouring stuff in this shit. Nah. See, 
Nah, see, I don't like flavoured shit. No. I like, I'll have a normal milkshake, as you know, a vanilla milkshake. Tangerine? No, a vanilla. But What's vanilla? It's a... Is that a... It's like a stick. It's a stick? Yeah. Okay. I've honestly no idea. Yeah. Um, it looks like a stick, anyhow. Just yay big. Alright. Yay, oh, yay big. Yay big. That's the measurement a lot of people do. <laughs> just yay big. Well, you can have yay bigs, you can have yay bigs, you can have yay bigs. Um, but yeah, I, I'm strawberry, don't like banana, don't like chocolate, I'm not a fan. Is this of milkshakes? Milkshakes, but I'll eat them all separately. See, I don't mind, yeah, I enjoy I'm, banana, well, I don't no, mind that's, strawberries. That's the proper way, I guess, of doing it, because you're eating the actual things, whereas I'm like, oh, strawberry pop ice or whatever. Yeah, yeah. Strawberry chubba chups, yes, please. Give me an actual strawberry. <laughs> 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 One of them. But there you go. Oh, well, there's some fruit and vegetable facts for you. Oh, well, it was more fruit. We <laughs> didn't mention veg. 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 No. <laughs> Veg are the worst out of the two, to be fair. When I think of fruit, I think of mm, nice and sweet and kind of shenanigans, but when I think of vegetables, I just think of, like, dirt. Well, they do come out of the ground. Exactly. Apart from potatoes, but there again, like meat and cows. I've... Well, potatoes come out of the ground. I was about to say, just like cows and burgers, I've completely obliterated the fact that it comes out of the ground. It just has a chip. Like they're, like they're just spawned. Like a burger is just spawned. No, a burger's from a cow. Mm. And, and chippy chips are from the ground, but my head's like, no, 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 you just buy them in bags of master. Fries to go in that. Or oh, Fontanas. Or oh, Fontanis. Uh, but anyway, visual show, we'll end it. We'll have a nice little walk. Ten minutes. Yes. And uh, uh, I, I'm going to say thank you for watching. We'll keep me on your keyboard, keeping on. But Chris has just told everybody to... What did you just say? Don't remember to not, what did you just say? The place you underwear daily. That was it. Well, what have you got for in this week? Or this day? <laughs> this is going to be on the spot now <laughs> <laughs> what good always have an umbrella on mine or on your guard because you oh, never fucking know I don't. we don't have an umbrella so we've we failed your rule mate this is the Chris guidebook and we failed it oh wait have you got an umbrella on the car nah oh fuck we failed your rules mate I know always have an umbrella on guy but we don't have one nah I do have a jacket though yeah. oh, well. Teresa will have an umbrella Somewhere. Oh, yeah, you're right. Oh, she hasn't. <laughs> We're breaking the golden rule. Somebody the golden rule. Oh, the umbrella. James. Umbrella fucking thief. Umbrella man. Somebody borrowed it and then I'm going to break it Your brother. What do you use an umbrella for? Because apparently you always have an umbrella handy. It's one of Chris's golden rules. But we don't have an umbrella handy. Who's Ducky? Who's Ducky? <laughs> Dookie, you fucking twat. Who is Dookie? It's a Green Day album. Hence why the t-shirt says fucking Green Day. Well, I can't see the fucking front, can I, you fucking idiot? What their oldest albums. Oh, Stop reading the fucking t-shirt, you creep. Bye. Love you, bye. <laughs> For fuck's sake.